The first African Bitcoin conference organized in Ghana hosted entrepreneurs, Bitcoiners, educators and advocates from Africa and across the world. The agenda for the conference was to create awareness and promote Bitcoin adoption in Africa by instituting regulatory frameworks. Africa has witnessed growth in the adoption of Bitcoin. According to the director of the Togoli Civil League, the economic problems in Africa are as a result of the use of different currencies in the exchange for goods and services. The reason why people need Bitcoin in Africa could be different from the reason why people need it in America, for example. When you look at the Western nations, most of them have functioning economic systems and monetary systems. Um, the Americans will not wake up in January and have the dollar lose half of its value by April. Ghana has lost more than 70% of its currency's value this year alone, which means somebody who is working in Ghana, who has the same salary in January 2022, and today, in Gen uh, we are in December 2022, is 70% poorer. Although Bitcoin is a digital currency, it is very accessible and provides various benefits as compared to the traditional banks and savings companies. If your bank account is being frozen or the government is trying to restrict your financial activity, Bitcoin is a way out. It's a little weird. You know, at the time, again, Bitcoin wasn't worth very much. I think it was worth when they asked us, sent us the email, maybe 200 bucks for a Bitcoin. Um, it wasn't trusted at all. People thought it was this dark, sketchy currency. But we said, why not? Let's try. And indeed, it worked very well. We were able to send value to these people who were protesting in an authoritarian regime. Although Bitcoin is a tool for financial freedom, Bitcoin has encouraged users to purchase and control funds independently without any external influence from crypto agencies to avoid being scammed.